the opioid epidemic, substance use disorder epidemic has has and continues to be one of the largest public health issues in front of public health professionals. Public health prof professionals know prevention, but I feel that substance use prevention is a little unique because we automatically think we know the solutions and we just want to implement solutions. And the toolkit does a really good job of laying out all of the steps that you need to go through to implement those strategies and implement those solutions. It is the, the best roadmap, um, I believe, to not only use for opioid misuse prevention, but you can interchange it and I think use it for any substance, any type of substance use prevention. Looking at this second iteration of it, I see it just as a, it's just better overall. It's written for the layperson, which is really good to give people that introduction. And in doing that and changing the language, you automatically reduce stigma. It's a, a very good guide to how to form these coalitions and how to interact with people. And for people who are well established, there's even more ideas of how to better do that, which is just fantastic. One of the greatest aspects of the toolkit is being able to bring it to other departments and stakeholders and for us to all be on the same page. So using this toolkit in the town of Middleton, we were able to take this to our substance use prevention coalition, which is a tri-town coalition, and to be able to go through each essential measure step within the toolkit and see what applies to our community. We were able to take that and, and work on programs or services or social media or anti-stigma campaign, partnering with foundations and recovery programs in our area. But it was something for us to tangibly look at and say, we can do this. Other towns have done it. We can take this as a team and do it together. You know, the days of handing over a pamphlet and saying, here, why don't you call these people and see what they can do for you? They're over here in South County with us. Like, I'll call the people myself and make sure that the people get connected. So, you know, it mentions that in the toolkit about bringing people together and getting different perspectives from different agencies and different disciplines. And it's incredibly helpful to do that. We're also really fortunate in this community. Our Chief of Police um, requires his officers to be trained in mental health first aid. Uh, so our officers in Norwood recognize uh, when someone is having a, a mental health crisis and more often than not, those crises are related to addiction issues. Um, so they know how to intervene. And I, I think that's really helpful when it comes to breaking the stigma around substance use. One of the great things of the toolkit was trying to implement best practices into the toolkit that were either small projects or big projects that other communities could look at and see if they could adapt it to their town. The 10 essential services are core to the work that we do in public health and having this toolkit relate those 10 essential services specifically to opioid use prevention or misuse prevention and substance use prevention in general, I think will help public health professionals realize, okay, I actually already know this. Here's how I can use what I already know um, for substance use prevention. The focus on equity I find to be refreshing. In South Berkshire County, there's a large black and brown population that are greatly greatly underestimated, undercounted, and underserved. And, you know, bringing people on board with that background is going to be absolutely essential. Having them include the, the inclusion part, the diversity, the equity inclusion, is it's just awesome to see that. I would encourage every town to look at the toolkit, glance through it, it's online, it's made easy. I would encourage them to just find something that jumps at them to say, I can tackle this small little task because we're all super busy and then start there. Don't get discouraged. It's a big topic. It's a big public health issue. But if you start small, you'll start. And that's the big challenge is just starting. So I encourage everyone to start and to use the toolkit. So the toolkit, it really lays out every single step uh, kind of in a foolproof way. So I think anybody, even if you have no experience in substance use prevention, uh, the toolkit is really helpful. It's easy to understand. And it lays the groundwork and, and 
presents the framework to effectively do this kind of work, to effectively build coalitions and to, to you know, foster the kinds of relationships that are absolutely necessary to, to move this work forward.